It is said in the wilderness there lives a beautiful woman with reindeer antlers watching over every living creature. She not only watches over the human realm, but is also responsible to keep the magical realm safe. She cares for humans, animals, plants, and all magical beings alike. This goddess of the wild is called Ellen, a benevolent and free spirit who protects all living things. She is often known as Ellen of the Waste. This is because she is known to guide humans in their path of life, especially if one is taking a new path. So Ellen was therefore a prominent goddess, most noticeably worshipped by people of Wales in Britain. But her stories has been lost in time, so the origin story of the goddess is not known. The goddess is often associated with reindeer, so she is sometimes called the mother of reindeer. It is believed that she has the ability to shapeshift into a silver reindeer and has the power to levitate even in her reindeer form. Chosen priests of Ellen's temple are also believed to have this shapeshifting power. When performing rituals or when needing to find the goddess, these priests would turn themselves into a reindeer and join a herd and follow them. This is because the reindeers are always said to return to the goddess when the day ends. The waters of the underground streams are believed to be holy water blessed by the goddess herself. It's the water from these streams that nourish all life. The goddess is said to go around blessing these streams from time to time. The water becomes magical when the goddess touches it and the streams carry them off to all plants and magical creatures and nourish them. It is also believed if one drinks from these streams, as soon as the goddess touches the water, he will receive all the wisdom in the world. Early miracle workers were also known to collect water from underground springs when they want to cast a spell or make potions. During the period the goddess was highly recognized, any act against reindeers and stags was considered a punishable offense due to the association of the goddess with the reindeer. She is also known as the Lady of Green or the Lady of Gardens because of her connection with nature. It is with her powers the forest and gardens grow beautifully even without human effort. She is quick and often hide behind trees. So if one needs the goddess to be in their garden, then they should plant enough trees for the goddess to hide. One of the surviving stories about Ellen describe how the Roman Empire Maxen discovered Britain and how Ellen became Ellen of the Ways. The story goes as, once Maxen went on a hunting trip, he felt tired and decided to rest by the river Tiber. Soon he fell asleep and had the most vivid dream that felt so real. In his dream, he was still on his hunting trail and on his horseback. Maxen got fascinated by the forest that he was passing through and eventually lost the rest of the hunting party. As he searched for the others, the emperor saw three ships at anchor. All three ships were beautifully carved, but one was grander and more magnificent than the others and was made from pure gold. Once the emperor boarded the ship, the ship began to magically sail out to the sea. Strangely, Maxen felt at ease as he was sailing on the magical ship and eventually the ship took him to a beautiful island. As he explored the island, Maxen came across a magnificent castle with doors made of gold. When he got in, he was greeted by an old wise-looking king and beside him was an unearthly beautiful woman. Her beauty was so mesmerizing that Maxen instantly fell in love with her. But as he was about to talk to her, the emperor gets waken up by a reindeer. Maxen was saddened by the sudden awakening because he never got the chance to talk to the woman in his dream. For the next passing days, Maxen went into isolation as all he could think about was the woman from his dream. He began to spend more time in sleep hoping that a dream would come back to him and he would have a chance to talk to the woman. With no ruler to rule, the empire began to crumble, so everyone began to be concerned about the emperor's behavior. So Maxen decided to seek out the counsel of three wise men. 
The wise men advised him to send three messengers in three directions to find the woman in his dreams if she is real. But the three messengers returned to him a year later with no news of the enchanting island or the beautiful woman who lived there. So the wise men advised the emperor to send the messengers on the hunting trail he took on the day he had the dream. Once they got to the place, the emperor fell asleep. The three messengers saw a majestic reindeer and followed after her. They then reached the harbor where the three ships were anchored. The three messengers boarded the golden ship and the ship took them to the land the emperor had described. The land was exactly the same as the emperor dreamt of, so they found the castle and the beautiful woman who lived there. They told her about Maxine's dream and that he has fallen in love with her and wants her to be his wife. The woman refused to go with them and demanded the emperor himself should come to her with the proposal if he wishes to marry her. But she was kind and didn't want the messengers to return empty-handed, so she gave them her name. The three messengers returned to Rome and told the emperor of the woman's demand and that her name is Ellen. The emperor returned to the island with his messengers and confessed his love to Ellen just like she demanded. So she accepted the proposal and married him. This is the island that we know today as Britain. Because Ellen was a virgin at the time of her marriage, Maxen gave Ellen's father sovereignty over Britain and built three castles for his bride. He then allowed Ellen to stay in Britain since she was attached to her homeland and did not want to leave. Ellen then started to build roads connecting the three castles and roads for her husband to return. Because of this, a network of roads started to emerge and soon she was called Ellen of the Way. So many of the Roman roads in Britain are named after Ellen. With the influence of Christianity, Ellen was then considered a saint in the Welsh Church. She is acknowledged as the patron saint of British road builders and of travellers. She is also believed to inspire the Christmas reindeer since she could take the form of a flying reindeer. Although she is no longer worshipped as a goddess, Ellen still cares for all living things as she did before. But she lives mostly in the woods hidden from humans. It is believed that if one walks on the same path as the goddess, he will absorb the aura the goddess has left on that trail. That is why walking in a forest brings peace to a person both physically and mentally. What do you think of this story? Thank you so much for enjoying the video and please consider to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. A very special thank you to my Patreon and all my subscribers for your wonderful support. I hope to see you again with another story to tell.